In general, metro doors should never be blocked. But on Monday, that's how Hong Kong protesters paralyzed underground traffic. This meant facing off with many angry passengers heading to work and leaving people stranded, like this pregnant woman who had to be wheeled out by paramedics. I'm supporting them for doing this. I don't think that they, they are wasting their time and even mine, but I think that they are spending their time to doing the right things. Railroad and air traffic were blocked. Airport personnel walked out, leading to hundreds of flights being canceled. Meanwhile, executive leader Carrie Lam accused protesters of endangering Hong Kong. Such extensive disruptions in the name of certain demands or uncooperative movement have seriously undermined Hong Kong's law and order. What started out as protests against a now shelved extradition bill that would have allowed authorities to send suspects to be tried in mainland China has evolved into a pro-democracy movement. On Sunday, too, traffic was brought to a standstill in various parts of the city. Protesters threw eggs and bricks on one police station. This after a peaceful rally came to an end. Police arrested dozens of people over the weekend in one incident, a Chinese flag was thrown into Victoria Harbor, angering pro-Beijing residents.